Hello friends, this video on reproduction in animals part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson. So let us quickly look at some of the questions. Question number one. Explain the importance of reproduction in organisms. Now, as I told you, without reproduction, an organism can survive. But without reproduction, the entire species might not be able to survive for a long time. So it is very important to retain a particular species of living organisms. Otherwise, that species will become extinct after some time. Transmission of characters from one generation to the next. It is because of reproduction that uh, one generation looks similar to their previous generation. Again, that generation looks similar to their previous generation. So this concept of inheritance is possible because of reproduction. Variations lead to origin of new species. We also see when we talk about sexual reproduction, we see variations are there. That means some new traits are seen in the new generations. And those traits, now small, small new traits, over a long period of time can give rise to new species altogether. That's how these small small variations have actually ended up in so many different varieties of dogs which we see today. So you see maybe so sometime one offspring had longer ears. Again another time the color of the fur changed. So that way small small traits traits changed at one time but over a longer period of time all those changes together gave rise to a new species altogether so that means it helped in evolution of new species question number two describe the process of fertilization in human beings so what is fertilization it is nothing but fusion between sperm and egg that is the male gamete and the female gamete has to fuse together to form the zygote. In human beings fertilization is internal that is it happens inside the body of the female and where exactly does it happen? It happens in the fallopian tube because in the fallopian tube only the egg comes. So if you look at it this is your ovary. So from the ovary the egg gets released into the fallopian tube. So the egg remains in the fallopian tube, that is the ovum, remains in the fallopian tube. The sperm enters through the vagina during sexual intercourse and then it passes through the uterus and reaches the fallopian tube. So this is the sperm. And then the sperm and the egg meets each other or fusion takes place in the fallopian tube. And as a result of this fertilization, a zygote will be formed. So sperm enters, reaches fallopian tube, sperm and egg enters and that is when fertilization takes place. Question number three. Choose the most appropriate answer. Internal fertilization occurs in female body, outside female body, in male body, outside male body. Internal means it has to occur inside. The fertilization always occurs inside the female body that is because the female gamete is not motile so the ovum cannot move but the sperm can move so the sperm can actually come and enter inside the female body and then it can move wherever is the uh, ovum so therefore it takes place inside the female body a tadpole develops into an adult frog by the process of so I told you, right, tadpole looks so different from an adult frog. So there are drastic changes involved during this development process. And this is called metamorphosis. That is the term given to these kind of drastic changes during the life cycle of an organism. The number of nuclei present in a zygote is. So what is a zygote? Zygote is the structure which is immediately formed after fertilization. So it is a single cell structure, but later it undergoes repeated cell division to form multiple cells. So how many nuclei are present in a zygote? Now since it is a single cell structure, so obviously in one cell there is one nuclei. So there is just one nuclei which is present in a zygote. Question number four. Indicate whether the following statements are true or false. Oviparous animals give birth to young ones. This is false because the, these animals lay eggs. So this is false. 
Each sperm is a single cell. Yes. So that is why we say sperm cells. So each sperm is made up of one cell. External fertilization takes place in frog. Yes, that's true because in frog what happens? The male, they, they release the sperms in water. The females, they release the eggs in water. And then the fusion happens in water. And that is external fertilization. A new human individual develops from a single celled gamete. Is that true? Not really. So why this is not true? That's because the new individual doesn't develop from a gamete. Gamete is a sex cell. So gamete is either a sperm or a ovum. A sperm cannot develop into a new individual or a ovum cannot develop into a new individual. So only a zygote can develop into a new individual and zygote is formed when a sperm and an ovum diffuse together. So that means the gamete cannot develop into a new individual. So it should be a single cell zygote. So from a zygote, it can definitely develop into a new individual. Egg laid after fertilization is made up of a single cell. This is true. Because after fertilization, what is formed? A zygote is formed. So zygote is made up of single cell. So that is true. Amoeba reproduces by budding. This is false. Because amoeba reproduces by fission. It is not budding but fission. Can you tell me which animal reproduces by budding? Examples would be hydra and yeast. Fertilization is necessary even in asexual reproduction. That is absolutely false because in asexual reproduction, we don't even need male and female. Only one parent is enough. So when you have one parent, so you really don't have the concept of a male gamete and a female gamete. So why will you have fertilization? Binary fission is a method of asexual reproduction. Yes, that's absolutely true. Because in binary fission, one organism just splits into two equal halves and those two equal halves forms two new organisms. A zygote is formed as a result of fertilization. Yes, absolutely true. An embryo is made up of a single cell. That is false. It is not an embryo but a zygote which is made up of one cell and this zygote will then undergo repeated number of divisions to form the embryo which is made up of many cells. So the embryo will have many cells but the zygote has just one cell. Question number five. Give two differences between a zygote and a fetus. Now, as I have explained before, zygote is the first thing that is formed after fertilization. It is made up of one cell. But later, it develops further to form an embryo and that embryo further develops to form a fetus. So, zygote is a single cell structure but fetus is a many cell structure and fetus develops from zygote. Zygote is a result of fertilization, but fetus is developed from zygote with different body parts, which resembles an adult. For example, human baby, before it is born, when a female is, say, 6-7 months pregnant already. So that time, the baby which is seen inside her womb, that has all the different body parts. So that is a fetus. But zygote is that one cell which is immediately formed after fertilization. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.